Developing news right now, national leaders of the Democratic Party have moved forward in making South Carolina, rather than Iowa, the first state to hold a primary. This comes after President Biden made the recommendation last night. News 2's Aaron Morgan spoke with a political expert earlier today about the impact on this state. South Carolina helped President Biden become the front runner in the 2020 primaries, and now he's requesting that South Carolina hold the first Democratic primary in 2024. This means South Carolina would kick off the Democratic presidential nominating contest. On Thursday, the president sent a letter to the DNC's Rules and Bylaws Committee with his request. President Biden said he believes the first contest should represent the diversity of both the party and the country, something that he says South Carolina represents. I spoke to College of Charleston political science professor Gibbs Knotts about how South Carolina embodies this. 30% of, of people living in South Carolina roughly are African American, but probably at least half or a little bit more of the people who vote in Democratic primaries are African American. And so uh, it's just a much more diverse electorate than you have in a place like Iowa and New Hampshire that have typically gone before South Carolina. Knotts also says if South Carolina does hold the first primary, the state would see some changes. The amount of time that people campaign in that first primary state, the amount of money that's spent in that first primary state would just multiply exponentially if we move from first in the South to first in the nation. Now today marked the first of two days of meetings for the committee and they will focus on recommendations for the 2024 calendar. Reporting in the studio, I'm Erin Morgan, Count on Two.